Are you a first time pool owner? How exciting. As many benefits there are to owning a pool, very few people know how to take care of it. So here are a few tips of how to keep your pool fresh and clean. Before we start, my name is Clifton and welcome to Concrete, my home improvement, home consulting and home DIY channel. Think of your pool like a huge cup of coffee. If you don't stir it after you add milk and sugar, all the good stuff sinks to the bottom and stays there, reducing your enjoyment of a caffeine fix. So let's dive in. I almost forgot, there's a bonus tip. So watch the full video and hit those buttons. Number one, checking the water level. Not every pool owner may realize the importance of your water level. The water level can literally make or break your pool. To lower your filter, it might get damaged. Too high and it will run inefficiently. The correct water level is around the middle of your skimmer. Number two, cleaning the pump filter. The point of the pool filter is to catch those leaves you missed while doing skimming and any other loose debris. Filler baskets can fill up quickly and when they do, they don't work anymore. Number three, cleaning out the skimmer baskets. It's the easiest to clean the baskets when the contents is completely dry. Having a spare basket to rotate with a dirty basket is the easiest way to perform this task. Number four, brushing the wall of the pool. Your pool cleaner doesn't get to certain places. For example, such as steps and behind pool ladder, you need to brush these areas at least two or three times a week. Regular brushing gives your filter a chance to filter out any unwanted organisms. Number five, cleaning the area around the pool. This is simple, don't allow debris and leaves to line your terrace, especially on winter months. Hose your terrace and brush it with the deck brush to remove loose dirt. This loose dirt acts as a growing medium for algae and moss. Number six, chemical labels. There are five chemicals to keep your pool fresh and clean. Cyanuric acid. Our ideal reading for outside pools is between 30 and 50. Free chlorine. It's a sanitizer which keeps your pool water safe free from germs, acidity. Also known as the pH level, acidity needs to be kept between 7.5 and 7.8, which is the same pH as a human skin, total alkalinity. It helps keep the pH in balance. Levels should be within the range between 60 and 120. Last one, calcium. Appropriate levels help prevent plaster damage. Aim for 220 to 350. Use your water testing kit at least once a week. Make sure your pool always has the right amount of each of these chemicals. Number seven, circulation. Your pool pump is the heart of your circulation system and working hard to ensure the continual flow of water from the body of the pool through the filter and back into the pool again. And for those who kept watching, the bonus tip. Most of the time, when people see tennis balls in a pool, they think it's about playing catch. However, those toys can have a double duty. When swimmers exit a pool, certain oils get left behind, like suntan lotion, hair products, the natural oils produced by our skin. While it's unpleasant to think about, luckily there's an easy solution. Simply throw a tennis ball in the water. The fibers used to make a tennis ball will absorb the oils and keep them from leaving a slick sheen on top of the water. There you go, use this maintenance steps on your swimming pool and when you get the hang of it, well, you'll be doing swimmingly. Have an awesome day and remember, keep it simple. 